Well, now, ladies and gentlemen, we come to that moment in the program where we don't ask a member of the audience to put a question, but we ask our guest celebrity to come along and ask the team a question. And today I'd like to reintroduce Maggie Tufnell of Something to Shout About on Radio, one of the most talented comedians on the stage today, Eleanor Summerfield. And may we hear your question, please? Yes. Um, as an antidote to television, can the team recommend any indoor games? <laughs> as an antidote to television, can the team recommend any indoor games? And be very careful how you answer yeah, that. Oh, I was going to say, you can watch television and play those as well. <laughs> well, I've just recollected very quickly some of the indoor games that I used to enjoy when I was enjoying my childhood. I think sardines is about the best. Sardines. If I remember, that's the one where you uh, all go and hide in the dark. In the same place. In the yes. same place. Yes, yeah. it's great fun. Yes, yes but you can't you keep on doing that. Fun? I can't keep on doing that, can Why not? Why not? Well, <laughs> I mean, sardines don't stop. <laughs> well, I think that you still play sardines. Every time I see you at home, you're well-oiled. <laughs> you never really gave it up, did you? But I'm not canned. <laughs> uh, David. I know a millionaire that has a television set in the basement. There's two of us no millionaires. How oh, yes. would you know any millionaires? Well, there's a game. You, they were talking of games like sardines. We play a game at home called Little Notting Hill. Uh, all the men sit round in a circle, and the women take their jewellery off, and they place it in a bowler hat in the middle of the circle. Then each man is given either a razor, or a cosh, or a bicycle chain. Then you switch the lights out, and the one who has the most jewellery at the finish is the winner. <laughs> Funny enough, I don't believe you, do I? <laughs> best I could think of. Eleanor, it, have you, uh, Eleanor, have you got to you give us thought? Uh, any sort of games that you'd like to play at home apart from sardines? Yeah, well, I have two small sons, you see, and they've taught me a lot of indoor games. I must teach them some later on, but they're only small at the moment. And um, we, well, we are now toxophilists. What? Uh, I mean, you're poisoning each other. <laughs> <laughs> toxophilists bell ringing, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that's campanology. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so that's very campanology. Archery, that's right. Archery, yes. One of them had... Well, indoors? We, play, we have to have it indoors for them because none of us are very good at it, you see. Well, the target nice and close. <laughs> uh, yeah, yes, <laughs> yes. My two sons, <clears throat> similar in age, Ellen, I think, to yes, your yes. two. Yes, yes. They have found a, a sort of alternative to television. It, it works like this, that they watch television normally until they go square in the eyeball. Or until... <laughs> like or most other children. But as soon as it gets dull, as soon as they need an antidote to television... You mean when the larkins come... You are... <laughs> you mean as soon as the chaps are out of ammunition? I no. am determined, Mr. Chairman, <laughs> you to finish the point I was making. You finish this undisciplined mob of <laughs> I can't wait to get back to the, an ordinary, quiet, straight play with no audience at all. <laughs> Carry well, on. You're doing those mate. larkins and you will be. <laughs> <laughs> and they have an antidote to dull television and that they fight. I put this event. forward to the audience that this might be the antidote. Any indoor... There is nothing so interesting as an indoor game in any home as a good fight for all concerned. Eleanor, do you think that... Yes. Um, do you think that the, your children started becoming toxophiliteers <laughs> through... <laughs> through... Big uh, Charlie Chester. No! Through Robin Hood. Oh. Yes, I think so, probably. But, but actually, we don't do that very often now because we have to have a new gas meter. One arrow went right through the gas meter and... Um, do so you have gas in your house? Oh, yes. Don't tell Jimmy Edward, he'll insult you. <laughs> do you mind me asking you, uh, yes. Anna, uh, if you've ever thought of the game Murder, for example? Since yes, the but... Maygrave series, it's a sort of, that's the sort of game I enjoy. Yes, but I've got to be Maygrave. <laughs> yeah, what about you now? Not, not talking about children. You personally, do, do you do anything else other than watch television when it's on at home? Well, I, I like to listen to uh, some... Uh, I've got some very good LPs. And um, I like photography, like Tommy. I like to get into a dark room. Okay, brilliant. <laughs> yes, I think that's a, a, that's a wonderful picture of Mr. Ray's establishment. Just playing long, playing records in a dark room. <laughs> um, I saw something the other day which struck me as a natural sort of historical progression. You understand all these words, I hope, gentlemen. Not me. Not the world. David, I'm getting one in four, and that's not a bad answer. <laughs> that's not a bad answer. That's not in my own answer. No, I... I I grew up hearing my parents say, yes, but when we were young, they said to me, we didn't have the radio, you know. We made our own amusement. Hmm. 
They made their own music. But I passed a shop in Soho the other day where you can make your own transistor radio set. So instead of watching television, <laughs> you can sit at home. Can you hear this silence? And make your own transistor radio set. Why did I ever begin? <laughs> well, we're just teaching you a lesson, letting you run on, Mayor Kossoff. <laughs> yes, never run on. You can get, a bit, get in a bit and then get out. That's the <laughs> thing. Always get... start off by thinking of the finish first. <laughs> Eleanor wants to put a point to it. No, no, I, yes, please. Um, I've solved this problem. We have millions of things to do other than watching television. But really and truly, I would like to hear what you particular gentlemen do... In the evening, instead of watching well, the television. Well, it seems what to me that Miss Summerfield is trying to suggest that we switch off the television and in a dark room with the sound of long playing records, we should shoot arrows at the gas meter. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. And thank you, Alan. <laughs> thank you.